we are on a mission today guys it's very cold i'm back home in chicago for the next couple weeks and it's been really cold here ice fishing is just around the corner i'm uh i'm seeing if i can jump the gun on it today i'm gonna do some fishing today whether that's ice fishing or open water i'm not sure this pond is completely frozen over. It has been so for the last couple days, but I do not know if it is safe ice yet. Now this is not recommended. Don't do what I do, but I don't have my spud bar with me. So I don't feel like pulling a one rod, one reel and falling in, but I'm just gonna check it out because, wow, I had my collar pop there. I hope that looked really cool, but <laughs> I don't have my spud bar. I don't have my uh, little graphing unit. I don't have my ice rods with me. I'm just out here look and i'm seeing if it's safe usually i look for at least three inches people can walk on on two but don't go out if it's at least three you don't want to fall on the ice now this pond froze over so quickly because it's so shallow this pond is like four feet at the deepest uh, a majority of ponds still have open water i don't have my spud bar so i don't know for sure and i really don't feel like walking out on ice if you are ever unsure about ice conditions don't ever walk out especially by yourself it's just a very very poor decision this pond has been locked over for many days now and it's been in the teens every night so I think this is just about one of the first ponds to go because I mean this is open water right now there's definitely at least three inches out here but again I'm not gonna walk out further I'm not gonna test it I'm gonna wait until I have safety equipment because there could be a soft spot out there and that'd be bad ice fishing could be a blast but safety is always the number one thing because very bad things can happen a couple people have already died this year unfortunately from ice fishing in minnesota terrible terrible tragedies you do not want to be caught on the ice without taking safety precautions now before we go get our ice stuff we got to say hello to our little buddy what's up dude you want another shiner or are you just chilling sitting in a parking lot right now because it's a little cold outside and i'd much rather rig my little ice rod up in the car pro tip if you live in a suburban area like me and there's not many tackle shops around you eat some live bait go to the pet store petco's got a bunch of like wax worms mealworms everything you need for ice fishing bait so i picked up some wax worms i also have like a little bit of gulp earthworms if the fish don't want to eat that mainly going after bass and bluegill today i'm pretty sure that's the only thing in this pond there's a lot of carp but I, uh, I don't have the gear to target carp. I might go back one day and set some tip ups with like corn and stuff like that or bread balls for carp, but not today. Today is for the old LMBs and the bluegills. And the ice fishing gear I'm using actually came in my mystery tackle boxes here. I had them send me an ice fishing box. So if you wanna learn more about mystery tackle boxes, ice fishing boxes, or any of their other boxes, the link will be in my description below to get $10 off your first box using my promo code Chris. But click down below and learn more if you are interested. I'm just tying on this little Kenders tungsten ice fishing jig that came in my box. Lots of other stuff came in the box. You got like a couple spoons, Lindy bugs, these small little ice fishing jigs, a jig and wrap type bait. So just a bunch of different ice fishing baits. In Chicago, we don't get a ton of ice. Like last, last winter, we only uh, were able to ice fish for like two weeks. But early in the season, I found probably one of the only ponds in the suburbs that I believe has safe ice. I'm still gonna check it, but seems to me that it's got safe ice we're gonna get out and catch some bass okay so we're out of the pond we got all our stuff but like i said before especially during early ice you want to exercise extreme caution now i don't have a spud bar this is not going to work as well i don't know where my spud bar is i have my ice picks now if you look out the ice looks fine it looks safe but i can guarantee you there's some soft spots somewhere in here that are going to be unsafe so what i'm going to do since i don't have a spud bar is i'm just going to drill right here see how thick it is and then probably work my way out Okay, just drilled the first hole. It's not going to be an exact measurement, but we're gonna get close. Now, how thick the ice is right now is about the bare minimum I would ever want to be out here ice fishing. It's about that much. So we have about three inches, but it looks like it's clear black ice. It is going to be strong. You don't have to worry about all this stuff so much when the ice season gets later, but since it's early ice, and especially because this is one of the only ponds around the suburbs of Chicago that even has ice because most of the ponds are about half open water. So I need to exercise extreme caution in order to catch these LMBs. Also, another pro tip if you wanna get into ice fishing. This is an old hand auger, so it's not the sharpest. It's not too dull, it'll still make holes, but if you have the luxury, I would highly recommend a gas auger or a propane auger or even an electric auger. Anything but this hand auger because I suck at these. I have carved out all the way to almost the middle of the pond. And the good news for me is that the ice actually thickened the more I got out here. 
we have a solid like three and a half, four inches right here. So hopefully we're gonna get some bluegills and bass to come up through this hole. I have this old sonar unit. I'm not sure if it's John or Parrick's, but let me get a, let's see, what's gonna be my weapon of choice? I'm gonna start with the tungsten jig because a little jig head like this, this will catch anything and everything that's down there. And by anything and everything, I mean bass and bluegill. A nice little wax worm on there for the pet store. Bite of bugs. You've got to find the deeper water, especially in ponds like this that are mostly shallow. Almost all those fish are going to be in the deep hole, whether that's four or five feet, six or seven foot, ten foot. They're going to be staged in that deep wintering hole. Yeah, there is nothing here. I need to find deeper water. All right, found some deeper water here. We have about four foot. You can see there's my jig. Oh, it looks like I got a fish coming near me. There's the first fish. First fish through the ice. And it is a dinko bluegill. <laughs> okay. You know what, I'll take them. First fish of the 2017, 2018 ice season is a two inch at best bluegill. So I'm sure some of you are curious about how these things work. That's the bottom right there in four foot. My jig is at three. It's the thing that's moving. Any little line under it, like that's probably a small bluegill right there that's looking at it. Oh, we have some shy fish right here. I keep marking fish that come right up, zooming up to my bait. Then they sink right back down just as fast as they came up. We got some shy fish. They're supposed to be super aggressive early ice. That's why people usually race to get out early ice. Typically very early or very late ice, depending on the species you're trying to fish for, is the best bite of the season. Come on. You know you want this little jig. There we go. There's that huge bass that we were playing with. We're gonna have to switch up tactics to avoid these tiny little stunted bluegills. I might switch to that spoon. Yeah? Is there no ice fishing here? Is there no ice fishing here? All right, well. Cops get me off the ice. This will be interesting. He didn't sound very happy with me either. Okay, well, I don't really know why I'm getting kicked off the ice right now. There's, there's a public pond. There's no no fishing signs. There's no no ice fishing signs. And he's not coming over here, so I don't really know what the deal is. I guess I can't fish here. I asked him if there was no ice fishing here, like you guys heard, and he just continued to yell, get off the ice. <sighs> I need to be in somewhere like Minnesota where ice fishing is more widely accepted than the suburbs of Chicago. People think that just because you're standing on ice, you're about to die and fall in and do something dumb. Because, I mean, he just yelled at me to get off the ice and then walk back to his car. So I don't know what the hell that was all about. Didn't even want to talk to me. Didn't like, I, I want to talk to him and ask him why he's kicking me off the ice, but he's just walking away. There's no law that says you can't ice fish on public property. So I don't, like, I feel like I should just stay out here and ice fish until he comes over to me. I don't want to do that. I don't want to egg on law enforcement, but I don't see a reason that he would kick me off safe ice other than he thinks it's unsafe, which is an opinion matter. I checked the ice and it's safe to be on. So cool. I'm going to go see if I can talk to him because I don't really understand why I'm getting kicked off the ice. Actually, I'm not going to walk over to him. I'm going to take the quickest route. My car is right there, so I'm going to go drive over to him. I really don't understand that. And that really bothers me because as a kid and I know a lot of kids around suburbs they get harassed for fishing for no reason fishing's not really a huge widely accepted thing in the suburbs people don't do it often just because there's not much accessibility so I need to see if he has any legitimate lawful reasons for why he's kicking me off the pond other than he just thinks it's unsafe which even that is not a lawful reason to kick me off the pond I don't think so at least I hope I'm not sounding like an idiot but I'm pretty sure I'm within my right All right, he, now he's driving away from me. Hey, sir. I was just wondering why you kicked me off the pond. Isn't it a public pond? It's only 34 degrees. I know. Well, there's four inches of ice. It's safe ice. Four inches is not a lot of ice. Oh, I know. But uh, I mean, I've been ice fishing my whole life. It's like two to three inches is usually what I go out on if it's safe. I just didn't know if it was a private pond or not. <laughs> I know the kids thought it was quite the spectacle, but Somebody I just didn't know if it was like a private deal or not. Somebody else called? People called? I mean, it's, it's been fairly cold at night, but not even that cold yet. 
I mean, I, this is one of the few ponds that are iced over, but I mean, I've been out there for like two hours. It's not cracking or anything. I just didn't know if it was private or not. Yeah. I'm not gonna go back out there. I mean, I don't, there's kids in <laughs> I recess. Know. I don't want to cause a spectacle, yeah. but. I mean, obviously, I get it, but yeah. I don't. I don't want anybody falling through. Either. Yeah, no, trust me. That's that's my last. Uh, gotta go get you. Yeah, that's <laughs> the last thing I want. Okay. So, I mean, you've been doing it for years, or no? Probably, yeah. 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 I mean, I've yeah, I have like ice picks and everything just in case I do fall in. Yeah. Right now, the ice is probably like that three and a half inches. I mean, consistently though, that's the only yeah. thing. You know what I mean? You think it's pretty consistent? Well, I'm not walking all over. I'm just like yeah. drilling holes and walking out five yards. I mean, I'm being really careful. I'm not like trying to go back out there and fishing. I'm just like thinking for the future because it is like because I fish here in the summer. It's a public pond, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's gonna be a little colder at night coming up too for sure. Yeah. I mean, today I could say it's 34, but I know it was colder last night. Yeah. And again, I, don't, I just don't know how consistent it is through the whole time. Yeah. No. Okay. I get that. Yeah, no, I'm not out here like trying to get killed or anything. I'm trying to be safe. I was just yeah. wanted to make sure and talk to you that it, it actually was a public yeah, pond. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, it's still kind of early in the season, and I think yeah. probably the main concern is going to be that, again whether it's going to be this thick in one area and yeah, in yeah, the, how even it is. Inches, obviously, that's fine. Yeah, because I mean, well, I, like just like you said, on ponds like this, like ducks and geese can keep some areas open, and then they'll lock over overnight. So. I mean, I get what you're saying. You got to be careful. I know that. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Just keep in mind. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, not that that police officer interrupted the most lights out ice fishing session in the world. It does kind of confuse and bother me a little bit. He said multiple people called on me just because I was out ice fishing. And I get it. It's early in the season. People might be concerned for my safety, but I don't know. I just think it's the fact that people don't like people fishing their ponds. Because he was surprised I'd never gotten called for fishing here in the summer. And it's a totally public pond. Well, he was pretty adamant that he didn't want me ice fishing anymore today. So I guess my day of ice fishing is up. I, I wanted to talk to him because, like he said, he wanted to check with his boss and tell him that just in case people call in the future, that uh, to let them know that like, it's okay. Because like I said before, like I would get harassed by homeowners in the past when I was a kid just trying to go out and do fishing. Like there's, We're in the suburbs of Chicago. There's not... A ton of options to go fishing around here so when you have a public pond and people don't want you on there and want to harass you and like i said it's different right now because it's early as they're probably i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume they're calling for safety reasons but due to past experiences i would want to assume that they're just calling because they don't want people out fishing on the pond but i don't know what are you going to do like i said he didn't exactly rip me away from a super hot bite i just switched to that big spoon and nothing oh i don't know what we're gonna do now we're in that super awkward time of year where the ponds are like half iced over and you'd be damn lucky to get a bite on conventional tackle and there's not really much safe ice at all that was kind of the only pond i knew of that have that had safe ice i think to people that don't fish ice fishing just scares them 10 times more than regular fishing and to good reasons because i've been called the police has been called on me for ice fishing way more than regular fishing like way more but usually they come out and talk to me. That guy just yelled, hey, get off the ice. And then once I rolled up on him with the video camera, he was much more respectful and explained more. Like, I could easily hear him. He could have said more things. I called out to him, is this a public pond? And he didn't say anything. He just said, get off. So, oh, well, what are you going to do? These struggles of a fisherman in a big city. So here's the issue of the Chicago suburbs right now. Here's another pond that's got some decent pan fish and bass in it. I enjoy fishing it, it's usually productive, but it is not fishable right now as you guys can see. It is uh, it is all iced over, but unlike the other pond that was much shallower and had much safer ice, not safe, not safe. This will be a good test. Oh look, there's a big dead shad. I did not know there's shad in this pond. Good to know, maybe this will be a swim bait pond, but this is how unsafe the ice is. I obviously weigh much more than this stick. Boom, dead if I walk out on there. Well, I'm gonna check a couple other ponds, see if I can find some open water to do some regular fishing in, but the outlook is not bright. Oh, over there. Now, what I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick was 
ice fishing destinations. I know a lot of you love ice fishing. If you have a place you've loved going to, if you have a place that you live at and want to invite me to, let me know. I want to get out and ice fish with you guys this winter. I'm going to take at least two to three ice fishing trips over the next month and a half. A lot of February and March, I'm going to be down south bass fishing, but for the main juicy chunk of that ice season, I'm going to be up in the ice belt doing some ice fishing. So if you guys live near some awesome ice fishing destinations, if you know of any and have had good trips somewhere, then let me know. Last year I got to Lake Winnipeg for walleyes, Lake of the Woods for lake trout, which Parrick and I didn't catch anything there. And then uh, me and my buddy Josh went to Lake Simcoe for big perch. I did some big crappie videos. So I kind of went all over the place, but I'm down to do anything new. I love doing new things and there's a ton of different species you can target on the ice. I'm really hoping and praying Erie freezes over, but I'm not going to hold my breath because it's a rare occurrence. Today was just the beginning, kind of a buzzkill that I was shoot off the only ice fishing spot that I can think of. Again, I, I get it, but the reason I was upset and annoyed was that I don't know if it's so much more they're concerned about my safety or they don't want me fishing there because there really wasn't a legal reason I shouldn't be on that pond other than it's borderline unsafe which i thought it was safe i thought i took a lot of safety precautions so that's the main thing safety precautions are number one bell you want to say bye want to say bye do you want to go ice fishing with me i still have never taken you fishing do you want to go ice fishing no do you want to tell them thanks for watching and we'll see you next time no should i feed you to the muskie thanks for all the help bella on that note i'm gonna get out of here peace